Omada Zero Touch provisioning allows for remote deployment and configuration of multi-site networks. There's no need to send out an engineer for on-site configuration, ensuring efficient deployment at a lower cost. This video will guide you through adding devices with Zero Touch provisioning via the Omada cloud-based controller. Plug in your Omada device on-site and make sure they are connected to the internet. Launch your cloud-based controller and go to the Devices page. Click Add Devices. You can manually enter the SN code of your devices. You can enter the device name to identify your device. Device username and device password are optional. The system will use a default account and password for adoption if the devices are in factory reset status. If you need to add a large number of devices, you can choose Import. Download the template and fill in your device's information. Up to 1500 devices can be imported at a time. Click Browse to import the file. Click Confirm. Type the characters in the image to pass a security verification and wait. After the importing process is completed, your devices will be added to the device list. Normally, the devices will be shown as unactivated. Click Activate to bind a license to the device. Then the device will switch to the pending status and can be adopted by the cloud-based controller. Adopt the device. The device will be configured and switched to the connected status. You can also click Batch Action to activate, configure, and adopt the devices in batches. Now, your devices have been properly added to the cloud-based controller. You can configure other advanced features for your devices and monitor and manage your network through the cloud-based controller, anytime, anywhere. Configuration made on the cloud-based controller will be automatically sent to the corresponding devices. Take setting a new SSID for an EAP as an example. Go to Settings, Wireless Networks. Click Create New Wireless Network. Set the SSID and the password. Click Apply. You will see that a new wireless network is added under the WLAN group, and your other mobile clients can now connect to the Wi-Fi of the EAP.